student as nigger, freely adapted from the article by Jay Farber in the Los Angeles Free Press, March 3rd, 1967. Holy fuck. <laughs> Students are niggers. When you get that straight, our schools begin to make sense. It's more important they are to understand why they're niggers. If we follow the question serious enough, it will lead us past the zone of academic nonsense. <laughs> Where dedicated teachers pass their knowledge on to a new generation and into the nitty gritty of human needs and hang ups. Yeah, they said nitty gritty. <laughs> and from there, we can go to consider whether it might ever be possible for students to come up from slavery. <laughs> a student is expected to know his place. He calls the faculty member, sir or doctor or professor, and he smiles and shuffles some as he stands outside the press office waiting for permission to enter. The faculty tells him, what courses to take that tell him what to read, what to write, and frequently where to get the margins on, where to set the margins on typewriter. They tell him what's true, what isn't. Some teachers insist they encourage dissent, but they're almost always driving, and every student knows it. Tell the man what he wants and wants to hear, or he'll fail you. When teachers jump, students jump. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that's like a lot. <laughs> Even more discouraging than the Auschwitz approach to education is the fact that students take it. They haven't gone through 12 years of public schooling for nothing. They've learned one thing, perhaps, perhaps only one thing during those 12 years. They've forgotten the algebra. What? They've... This doesn't even make any sense. They've forgotten the algebra. They're hopelessly vague about chemistry and physics. Why would they divide that into two sentences? Why not use a <laughs> semicolon? They've grown to fear and resent literature. They write like they've been lobotomized. But Jesus, they can follow orders. <laughs> students don't ask. Did it say that? Yes. But Jesus, like, wow. Students don't ask that orders make sense. They give up expecting things to make sense long before they leave elementary school. Things are true because teacher says they're true. At an earlier age, we'll learn to accept two truths, as did certain medieval churchmen. Outside of class, things are true to your tongue, your fingers, your stomach, your heart. Inside class, things are true by... Reason of authority. That's retarded. And that is just fun because you don't care anyway. Miss Weidemeyer tells you a noun is a person, place, or thing, so let it be. You don't give a damn. She doesn't either. <laughs> the important thing is to please her. Back in kindergarten, you found out that teachers only love children who stand in straight lines, and that's where it's been ever since. Nothing changes except to get worse. School becomes more and more obviously like a prison. Which, what school amounts to, then, for white and black kids alike, is a 12-year course, how to be slaves. What else could explain what I see in freshman class? They have the slave mentality. Oblig, oblig, these aren't even words! I'm just kidding. Obliging and grating on the surface, but hostile and resent, resentful underneath. As do black slaves, students vary in the awareness of what's going on. Some recognize their own put on for... What? Dude, seriously? Read this! I can't even, like... Okay, it's such it. It's such it. bad grammar that it's just absurd. I can't even read that. Some recognize... Okay. Some recognize their own put-on for what it is and even let their rebellion break through to the surface now and then. Others, including most of the good students, have been more deeply brainwashed. They swallow the garbage from greedy mouths. They, honest to God, believe in grades, in busy work, in general education requirements. They're pathetically eager to learn. If you touch that, I swear to God. They're pathetically eager to be pushed around like so many people in the southern industry, black and white, who don't see what all the fuss is about because Mr. Charlie treats us real good. <laughs> College entrance requirements tend to favor toms and screens at the Rebels. Not entirely, of course. Some students are expert con artists who know perfectly well what's happening. They want the degree and spend their years on the old plantation mechanically outlining history chapters while meticulously failing to comprehend a word of what's in front of them. That's hell true. You say plantation. Plantation. The saddest case among both black slaves and student slaves are the ones who have so thoroughly interjected their master's values that their anger is turned inward. These are the kids for whom every low grade is torture, who stammer and shake when they speak to a professor, who go through an emotional crisis every time they're called upon in class. You can recognize them easily at final sign. 
Their faces are festooned with fresh pimples. Their bowels boil audibly across the room. If there really is a last judgment, then the parents and teachers who created these wrecks are going to burn in hell.